Hi, this is Annette with Whimsy Custom Frames and Design from Etsy. Today I'm going to do a little tutorial for you on how to use my Photoshop frame brushes and use them as a template for a photo. So we're going to just start out by opening a new document and um, I'm just doing 10 inches by 10 inches at a resolution of 300. Um, what we're first going to do is load our brushes. So let's say you purchased some brushes from me, the frame brushes, and um, you've saved them where you know they are, right? So what you're going to do is come over here. Um, first you're going to select the brush tool and then you're going to select this drop down right here. And then over to the right there's a little gear that you're going to click on. You're going to go down to load brushes. You're going to find where you saved them and you're going to click load and there they are in our brush palette so you can choose one of the frames and we'll do this one today um, one little trick that I've learned with um, brushes is that you can use the bracket keys to enlarge them just um, by hitting them on your keyboard so we're going to put that right up here at the top and you can choose any color today I'm doing black but over here in the colors you can choose any color you want to make that template to make that brush. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to use the magic wand. The magic wand tool. So you can either hit W on your keyboard or come over here and click it. And I'm going to select the inside of this frame. So you can see that it's just selected everything inside this Photoshop frame. Now I'm going to create a new layer and I'm just going to hit shift control N and it opens up a new layer and I'm, I'm not going to name it, I'm just going to hit enter. And so I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to grab the paint bucket and then I'm going to choose a gray color and I'm just going to drop that into there and you can see that only over here on the layers you can see that only that part that was selected by the magic wand turned gray. Now that I have just that gray, what you're going to do is you're going to make another new layer. So hit shift control N and enter. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hit control alt G. And that just makes a new little window. It's, you can see that there's a little arrow that drops down to look, look at it. And what you're going to do is just place an image in there. What I'm going to do first is hit select and then deselect. So the little marching ants go away. So now I'm going to hit file. Make sure that you have this layer over here selected, this layer two. And then I'm going to choose place. And then I'm going to choose an image from my computer. Maybe one of these family pictures. And then I hit place. And you can see that all it's letting me view is the window that was selected and so I'm, gonna, I'm moving around the picture so that it will fit inside that frame and then you're just gonna it already has the transform box around it so if you wanted to you could hold the shift button and you could resize it also and then move it around to fit in the window the way you like it and when it's the way you like it you're going to hit enter and that's all so you can do any color border any color background and I think all I'll do right now is just crop it to fit a little better and you're done and that's how you do it head over to my Etsy shop whimsy custom frames and design I'll put a link to it down in the comments have a great day